Good evening. This is the Ninja of the Color Podcast. I'm your host, D-O-T-T-L-E-Y, coming at you with another solo podcast for today. The other ninjas will be available tomorrow for our regular weekly episode. Again, I am your host, D-O-T-T-L-E-Y. This is the Ninjas of the Color. We are a pop culture, current events, sports, and much more podcast. Rate, review, follow, subscribe. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, please give us uh, five stars, give us four stars, give us three stars, give us two stars. Uh, you can even give us one stars. Rolanda doesn't like the one or two, but I can take a one or two. If you don't, uh, we just assume we're doing it properly. Uh, we are available wherever you get your podcasts. We're available on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcasts, Pandora, YouTube Music. Uh, I t- uh, tune in and we will be available on iTunes or Apple's podcast at the end of the month. You can contact us at ninjamethecolor at gmail.com or Instagram or TikTok. Uh, you can also support uh, via Cash App or Zelle. The information is available on the about screen. Uh, today, uh, we'll be talking about is X Men 97 the best? The best. Um, Best animated show in 2024 compared to Bad Batch, whenever. And we'll also talk about uh, the Braves, and we'll also review Bad Batch and X Men 97. Uh, it'll be a light podcast today because it's just a light podcast. So let's get it started. Look who's jumping to a whole new beat. It's the Play-Doh Make-A-Meal Diner. Every day we want to have some buzz. We all have fries and a bag that's a good Ice cream and a cookie trim. And we make it with a dang like this old ego. Crack, crack, crack. Press it and lick it back. It had a pop it. Squish, squish. The Play-Doh Diner is hopping. The Play-Doh Make-A-Meal Diner comes with everything you see here. Rainbow packs sold separately. When you put on the radio controlled Turbo Fist, get ready for the ultimate driving experience. Because with Turbo Fist, your hand makes the car go left, go right, through the curves, and into Turbo Speed. Sure, in total control, only with Turbo Fist. Turbo Fist puts the power and control in your hands. Turbo Fist radio controlled vehicle comes with glove and car, and batteries not included. New from Tonka. Fellas, heard about this new game called Splat? Uh, I hate when that happens. Splat, 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 rubs is where it's at, splat. That wasn't so bad. That was. The game, Splat, you make bugs in the bug o If you don't want your bugs to get splatted, you gotta be the first to get them to safety. Splat, rubs is where it's at, and splat. Splat, I hate when that happens. Splat, from Luke and Crackling. So, are your education got you down? Well, snap into it. Dip into a Slim Jim. Sure is a spice, that beefy, juicy taste. What is the meaning of this? Feel a little excitement? Step into a Slim Jim. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the sky. <laughs> have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. Adventures of the galaxy. Yeah. All right, that was the Galaxy Rangers, our throwback theme for today. 
Uh, before we get into the Braves, we would like to thank all the people that return and download our podcast, uh, I guess on a weekly basis. Uh, thank you for the people who are in Ashburn, Virginia, uh, Paris, France, uh, Frankfurt, Germany, San Jose, California, Far Ranch, Georgia, North Cross, Georgia, St. George's, Grenada, uh, Bella, Codine, France, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Glen Allen, Texas, we got, we got one from Pakistan, Hialeah, Mount Juliet, Tennessee, Mount City, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Sharona, Tennessee. We got Kosovo, Pakistan, Nigeria, St. Lucia, uh, Columbus, Ohio, Columbus, South Carolina, South Carolina, Knoxville, Lafayette, Winterburn, Westburg, Springfield, and Kingston. Canada. Anyone who listens to this podcast from any of those cities, please contact us. We might do a remote if you give us uh, ample time and want to have a podcast live from your area. Again, thank you for everyone who tells a friend, tells a friend, and also for those people who return weekly to listen to our podcast because we have three at this moment, uh, the current Ninjas of Another Color. The Common Sense Party Podcast and the Cartoon Rewind Podcast. We do, we do appreciate you uh, uh, listening to us. Uh, what we do, also our merch store is coming soon, so you can support that way, or you can support via Cash App Brazil at the about page of the podcast. All right, uh, today the Braves were rained out. Uh, I think there'll be a double header tomorrow. The Mets took the Monday game, which was Hank Aaron seven fifteen. Uh, bobblehead. It sucks. I missed that one because of work. I'll have to buy the bobblehead via um gotta buy it via um, eBay. Someone is gonna try to. Um, steal my money, but hey, it's Hank Aaron. It's 2024, so we'll get it. So the Braves played yesterday, the ninth, and let's see what happens. There's tonight's starting pitcher, Ronaldo Lopez, his ninth of the season in the major leagues, mostly with the White Sox, predominantly with the White Sox, bounced around with three teams last season. And here with the Braves, has been a reliever since 19, uh, 2021, but they're going to pluck them into the starting rotation. Well, let's see what Brandon has for an encore after his huge night last night. He went around. Uh, tra Travis left to throw down at first. Fires a strike to Matt Olson, and there's one away. Starting Marte, the right fielder. And that looked pretty good. 97, and Marte was late. That's the slow one. I'd hate to see the quick one because that had some giddy up on it, too. And you can see the reaction from Starling Marte as he heads back to the dugout. Lindor grounded to first. Olsen's got it. So far this season, Lindor's down one for 31 against right-handed pitchers. Acuna, Albies, and Riley will bat here in the bottom of the first inning. And it's against Adrian Hauser, traded for Milwaukee in December, 31 years of age, and he gets the start here tonight. Ronald Acuna, 0 for 3 last night, did walk twice. Ooh. And here he gets hit. Four-seam fastball comes in and clips him. You can see the movement on this pitch. Just kind of kept barreling in on Ronald, and fortunately it caught him right on that elbow guard. Seemed trying to get the left arm out of the way. Well, we talk about it frequently. People like to jam him in with fastball, see it all the time. That's why he wears that big guard. He's okay and down at first base. And this will get fun tonight, I think, for the Braves. So far, the New York Mets have not thrown out a potential base dealer. 0 for 18 on the season. And there goes Ronald Acuna right on cue, and he stole it easily, and he's going to get third pretty easily. The backup catcher, Narvaez, has thrown into center field. So now, a yeah, chance for the cool. Braves to grab an early lead here. Ozzie Albies is going to drive in a run. Did he do more than that? Off the top of the middle. RBI double for Ozzie Albies, and the Braves have the early lead. Two batters into the bottom of the first. Up and in, so... 
little control issue early for Hauser. Almost hits Riley. He does walk it. Uh, the put runners at first and second. No one out for Matt Olson. That's line right at McNeil. Throw to second, and they double off Albies. A fortuitous spot for that line drive. Right to McNeil. And he gets it to Lindor, and they double up Albies. Four to six, two out. Tatazuna bounces one for Lindor. Plays the big hop. And throws him out, and so Hauser helped out by that line drive double play limits the damage to just the one run. Harrison Bader set to lead off against Reynaldo Lopez here in the top of the third inning. First pitch here in the third is spanked to left center by Harrison Bader. Made a big turn. He is going to try for two. Well, he's out. Bader got a little bit too aggressive, bit off more than he could chew, took off for second base, and Kelnick nailed him. One nothing Braves into the bottom of the third inning. Top of the order for Atlanta. And Ronald delivers again. A single to left to start the bottom of the third. Already 11 runs driven in for Ozzy, and this is just the Braves' 10th game of the season. There goes Acuna, and this works out perfectly. Ronald can cruise into third, and they are at the corners with nobody out. Well, Ronald on the move, and Ozzy is able to blister one through the right side. And the Braves on top of Hauser here in the third inning. Here's Austin Riley. Right back up the middle. RBI single, Austin Riley. 2 nothing Atlanta. Three straight singles to start the bottom of the third for the Braves. And here's another hit. Four straight hits to start the inning. Ozzy's going to score. 3 to nothing. Still nobody out. Well, Matt Olson got a look at everything against Adrian Hauser in his first at bat. He's seen 11 pitches now here tonight in just two plate appearances. And he goes out and he hooks this two seam fastball. And the line keeps moving now for the Braves. Guess what? Another hit. Five straight. Another run home. Four zip. That's five straight singles to get things started here in the third inning. Well, Adrian Hauser right now is not fooling anybody. Healthy swings here. Is this one going to drop? Yes, it does. Painter can't collect it. Six straight singles for Atlanta to start the bottom of the third, and they are loaded. Right to the left side, and that's grabbed by Alonzo. Throw and hold high, but Narvaez comes down with the tag on Olsen, and they get the out. Alonzo playing off the line, and R.C. hit it right to him. He, the throw was not a good one, but Narvaez does a terrific job to go up, come down, and get the tag down on Olsen. Darnell with the bases still loaded and one out. Grounds one is short, should be two. Lindor with the flip, McNeil with the turning double play. And the inning comes to an end, but the Braves stitch together six straight hits to score at three runs and four out of Ronald's on base for the third time tonight. Well, it's a one-out walk that brings Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Ronald breaks for second. He's got his second stolen base tonight. He'll make it now 0 for 20 for the New York Mets this season and trying to throw out opposing base dealers. And when it's this guy especially, you feel pretty confident he's going to get there. Ronald goes again. He stole another one. Omar Narvaez looked totally unprepared for this potential stolen base. It was almost as if he was scrambling. Now let's see if Austin Riley can get him in and make it a 5 to nothing game. Up the middle, RBI hit for Austin Riley. His second RBI knock tonight, and the Braves are on top 5 to nothing. For two steals for Ronald Bayoff, and Riley rakes in the RBI. Marte, Lindor, Alonzo. Get hard and through the hole, a base hit for Marte. And the Mets have a leadoff base runner in the sixth. Just their third hit of the night against Ronaldo Lopez. The Mets trying to get some traction in this game. Another grounder to bat Olsen. And this one is going to be a double play. Two outs. That's a thing of beauty right there for Ronaldo Lopez trying to get through this sixth inning. And the defense showing up once again. Third time tonight that Lindor has bounced it directly to Matt Olsen. It's this pretty well to right center field. Harris... Reaching in front of Ronald Acuna to make the catch. A single but no damage done. Lopez gets through six. Always an awesome moment to see a major league debut. That's what we have at the bottom of the six. Atlanta has a 5 nothing lead in. Daniel Nunez makes his big league debut against Travis Darno in the Brave. Well, Travis Darno hits it and McNeil makes an excellent play. But Darno slides out of the tag of Alonzo. Who says catchers can't be athletic at 35 years of age? And now Keldick. That came in on the hands, little flare. And it falls in front of Bader. Back-to-back -back hits to start the sixth. Ground ball to third. Bainey charges. 
Hi, say, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. I'd say likely an error, but this was a throw that he had to make on the run. It wouldn't be an automatic error for me because the speed of Ronald Acuna Jr. puts a little bit of pressure here yeah. on Beatty, and it's a high throw that allows Ronald to be safe. But it was going to be a great play. If you make that play, we're talking about what a really good play it is. Here's Albies. Base is juiced. Another grounder. This would fair. Alonzo will step on the first base bag. He was playing back. Yeah, the Braves score one. It's six to nothing in the sixth. And yeah, the Mets have the first two men on in the eighth. So now two in scoring position for Alonzo. And Alonzo hits one deep to left center field, headed back toward the wall. That ball is out of here. Pete Alonzo puts the Mets back in the game with a three run holder. And it cuts the Braves' lead in half. It's now six to three. And now Beatty hits a ground ball right at Albies. And he throws it wide and hits Beatty, who is safe at first base. So Albies, on a routine ground ball, throws it away, and the Mets inning continues. And Tyrone hits it hard through the whole base hit. Beatty stops at second, and the Mets will get the tying run to bat in the top of the eighth. 1-1 in the air. Got underneath it. Ronald Acuna in. And he takes it. So Alonzo homers, but the Braves still on top by three. Ninth inning, Mets down six to three. And they'll face the Braves 34-year-old. Yes. Harrison Bader, first man to face him. And he lines one into center field for a base hit. Harrison Bader gets the Mets started in the ninth with his second hit of the night. The Mets now need one more base runner to get the tying run to bat. And Arvaez, who had the base hit to start that eighth inning rally. And he lines one at a right center field. That's a base hit. Headed toward the gap and all the way to the well. Bader is third. He'll be waved home. Narvaez with an RBI double. It's now 6-4 to four, Atlanta. And the Mets will get the tying run of the plate with nobody out in the ninth. And Nimmo rolls one to the right side. Albies makes the play. This time his throw is true, and that's the first out. Narvaez over to third, but... That one is not meaningful. The only one that counts is the one at the plate. Ground ball to the right side. The run will score, but Albies gets the second out. It's now 6-5, to five, but now the Mets are down to their final out of the night. With just one out to play with, Lindor, who's 0-4 tonight, and 1-33 for 33 as a left-hand batter this year, comes up against Iglesias. And he bloops one behind shortstop. On comes Harris and drops in for a base hit. Lindor with only his second left-handed hit of the season. And now the Mets of the tying run aboard and Pete Alonso coming up. Tying run over at first base. Two down, here's the 2-2. Struck him out. Change up indeed. Braves there. Yep, so like I said, I think what's his name wanted a, a save. He wanted a save. He, he just... Let it go because he wanted to save the the pitching is going to be a I don't think it's going to be a problem. I hope it's not going to be a problem. But since Strider has been down, but it's early in April, so it's cold uh, when it starts to heat up. Uh, this one, they should get better. All right, so we're going to move on to the bad batch. Episode 12. Some say it's a filler episode. I don't think it's a filler episode. It's setting up for the final episode on May 1st. Uh, they got three episodes left, not including this one. Uh, but did you think Wrecker was going to die? Hint, hint. Did you think he was going to die? Let's check it out. Turning yourself over was a wise decision. Begin testing her at once. I want confirmation. Is there a problem, Dr. Carr? I'll handle it. I'm afraid the Kaminoan won't be aiding you in another escape. I'll return later for the results. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. I'm glad you're safe. Am I? Listen. 
I still can't believe you let Omega turn herself in. The Empire would have destroyed this whole town. She stopped them. Yeah. And we're stuck here without a ship. You've known what Tantus is this whole time? I didn't say I know. Admiral Rampart. He's a last resort. He's also our only option. How did you get in here unseen? Used the hidden cavern access when I docked my ship. Tech told me all about your sparkling personality. Any friend of Brown Eyes is a friend of mine. An Imperial labor camp on Erebus. I like this already. Don't you order me around. You're the one slowing us down. Once we hit the ground, we have to tap into the prison databank and pinpoint Rampart's location. I expect you to know a stealth approach, MDT. Plug in and find out where Rampart is. Yeah. Rekka, remember Plan 55? Yeah. 55, wait on you. You remembered. Up touching. Are you here to kill me? Tempting. But no. If you're not here to execute me and you're not letting me go, then you must need something from me. Tantus. And how much is that information worth to you? You're not in a position to bargain. I'll talk after you get me off this planet. Beef transport one's comms are being jammed. What? Bring up the gun ship, seal off the bridge and reroute transport two to intercept. The arm is too strong. Please, you're not going to kill me. Not yet. No. The perimeter is exact. Drop hard. Not exactly a self exit, boy. No one knows the coordinates to Tantus. I might know how to get around that. No need for threats. We're in this together. Her blood sample yielded a favorable M-count replication. I'll show you. An individual's M-count cannot be directly replicated. Where are you taking me? You are a vital piece to our work here, Omek. Who are they? Are the rest of the puzzle? This is your new home. Yeah, like I said, it is, it was a good episode, not a filler episode like other people say, uh, but Mm. Uh, this is setting up for last three episodes. They're going to save them because the next episode, I think you're going to go to, you're going to find a way to turn this a plan and then they get rescued. So bad batch. Uh, I think I give that a seven out of 10. And now we're going to move on to, before we move on to the new episode of, X-Men 96 is X-Men 97 
to Edmund 96. X Men 97, the best animation show of 2024. Here are some scenes from the first four episodes. You decide. I do it. I do it. How often can bring over you? I am Storm, Mistress of the Elements. My friend, the boy. Oh, thanks, my your regulars. Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't. I surrender. Not one. Maybe it was power on tell guy. Seriously, girl, get to life. Show the lady some respect. Uh, first. Scary enough for you, bub? There will be no dismembering, Wolverine. Dismembering? Nah, it's weight loss. Think you can do that, Logan? Jeez, Dad. Keep buzzing in my ear. What would we do if we ever lost you? <laughs> Solid work, team. See you on the ground. To me, my ex-myth. Ryan Give him the forecast. Heed my command, and to reclaim these relics of Israel. As you all will see, his fortune, his school, everything he built, everything he fought for, now belongs to me, my X-Men. The devs you humans go. Electricity and magnetism are intimately acquainted. How unfortunate for you that I am the master of magnetism. Masters are demanding. Gotta get into the city. Crowds lost their blasted mind. Logan, he's he's here. Booms, apocalypse. The baby. <laughs> oh, crap. What do you mean, don't do mutant births? You people can lose control of your powers. And if she needs a C-section... I'll show you a C-section. Oh, sorry, sugar. Ah. Prep and I oh. and get this lady to a room. Night will go. <laughs> Door! 
Lies. This is your dream. My kind splayed before you, powerless and afraid. All the X-Men have done is use their awesome power to protect a world that hates and fears them. <laughs> Bigotit, ingrate, sycophant, worm, so small I could smite you with a step. But today, I have saved you from your own, for an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. How vast it is, versus how small we make it. But merely to accept that this is a shared world with a common future, and that my kind, like yours, have the right to live in it. Do not make me let you down. Nathan Charles Summers. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... He's back! Jean? I need the X-Men. <sighs> What? Sheet. Mommy Spacey. Told me you a dark design. Then you shall know my lady brother. Downstairs, now! What the heck is going on? Haven't you figured it out? Where is your owl? <laughs> no, this is the, uh, the clothes. I got him. Yeah. You smell like burnt hair. Yo, stack glass. Hit me. I'm putting exorcism, bots. You're welcome. Sinister has plagued us far too long, and it is time the madman pay for his malevolent appropriation. Soon. Fan out. I know not what I do. I knew you'd follow, Scan. Your money. I don't want to fight you either. I want you to fight for me. Give us the boy, you brimstone clone. Don't worry. Mm. You'll bleed too, Darcy. Duh, we're totally in a video game. We're what? Pay attention to the young lady. You're like totally in a video game. Mojo here. Your prime time psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. Looks like you've been dieting? You noticed! Got some nap, some chalk. Sooner or later, you gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the <laughs> I am a magneto. <laughs> no need for thank you, my friend. My friend, I mean you. Like I said, we go way back. Do you believe Caesar Sexton? Hold up, cowboy. Get it over until the bat desperate sings. Ratsman has cancelled me today. 
Okay, Aurora. Give it a try. Winds? Heed my command. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Rise, winds, and move the desert sand. Please, winds. Hear me. This isn't happening, Forge. It can't be real. I know, Aurora. I know. You live disappointed, and I, the adversary, shall not waste my meal. Yeah, those were the first four episodes of X Men '97. All right, we're going to move on to. Episode five, which I think it's a prelude to a time travel, but let's check it out. A school for mutants founded by the late Professor Charles Xavier. More hands-on learning, you know, but with big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. Forgotten. Desperate to belong. Please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. Oh, they would be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gamma's last visit. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Fryer scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Heard Wagner, how the heck are you, furball? They shall play toolist as the council speaks Magneto. Everything around us would not have been possible without the work of the X-Men. Let's talk about you and my little girl. This person. He's in a hundred years, as you know. He's grieving his son. Afraid to fix it most. Sure him. Wanted to show her that nothing had changed. He was still the hothead who knocked my books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. Sunrise is your eyes have seen. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. I I'm... Georgine Gray. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster child king. Don't go fill in this man's head with such notions. You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. But if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people. We would carry the dream, but never live it. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? Mutant kind's fiercest defender, and you, an X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. Is this your plan all along? Describe Nathan. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. It reminds me of... Mm. You can explain... <laughs> If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Something wrong, Miss Pryor? Mind drift indeed. Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. To How long has it been happening? A month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas. Be with my clone. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? What is it? He spent weeks talking about how mutants were special. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power, could be something more. You gonna accept his offer? Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. Light up everything you touch, but never me. We be friends, more than me. 
Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. Everyone? Get everybody out. You have to get everyone out. He's coming. Who's coming? Axis, you made it. You survived. So sorry, man. We get it. Ro, you alive? Not who are you? I got some vile Godzilla sentiment. You go at it. Wind of dead. I draw its fire away from the guard. Roll clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. He promised Leech would never be scared again. The X-Men are no friends to the Morlocks. Do they hurt them? Try to protect the bro! The name's Gambit. Remember it. How many, damn it? The images you're about to see may be disturbing. I... I can't... You... Wow, that was the saddest. Again, I say the saddest. The saddest one I ever, 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 not really ever, but it was sad to see all the death. Is X-Men 97 the show we needed at this time? I digress. I hope, well, hopefully it's not uh, predestined writing, but if you see Cable, Cable is time travel, so most likely you'll come back and save. And save them all. Hopefully you can save them all. And the two significant deaths in animation past two years, tech for Bad Batch, and Gambit. Those were honorable deaths. It took one for the team. But let's go back and really check it out. Survived. I'm so sorry, Ma. What? The real trick to reversing what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could safely channel it. Get to the garden! Oh, Back in the club. Save as many as you can. Ready?
Okay, Oro. Give it a try. Winds? Heed my command. They shall be a... Storm, mistress of the elements, rise winds and move the desert sands. <laughs> Please, winds, hear me. Hab keine Angst. Please. This isn't happening, Forge. Can't be real. I know, Baro. I know. The name's Gambit. On me. Remember it. Sugar. Matter how dark it is. Yep, that was the death. The sacrifice of Remy, aka aka Gambit. All right. This has been uh, the Ninjas Over the Color. I'm your host, D O T T L E Y. It's a solo podcast today. Today we discuss the Atlanta Braves. We thank all of return listeners. We dove into Bad Batch. And X Men ninety seven. Again, we are the Ninja Don't Know the Color. I'm your host D O T T L E Y. This podcast is a pop culture, sports, and current events podcast. Please rate, review, follow, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Uh, please give us five stars. Give us four stars. Give us three stars. Give us two stars. Some of our members don't like the two and the one stars. I'll take two and the one stars because we don't give us any stars. We'll just assume we're doing it properly. Uh, we are available wherever you get your podcasts. We're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcasts, Pandora Podcasts, YouTube Music. Tune in and we will be on Apple at the end of the month. Uh, you can contact us at ninjas of another color at gmail.com. Are available on Facebook, um, Instagram, TikTok. We did just start a new Facebook group. Just search Ninja of the Color and join. Uh, we will accepting all members. Uh, you can support uh, via Cash App or Zell. The information is on the about page of our podcast. Again, we thank all of the return listeners. Please spread the word. We like to have fun. Hopefully, this is entertaining for you. So, uh, we will see you. With the full agenda later on this week.
from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe, a mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe. Until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. And this is the story of the super forms of space explorers. And trust by the alliance with the ancient secrets of how to assemble. And shall they thought. The Thunder of the Universe. The old sour, ye methods and the teeth of Let's get him! Here comes Voltron! Form, feet, and legs! Form, arms, and torso! And I'll form the head! Form, a blazing sword! And not please are you just getting in here. Sit in here and tell you. Excuse me. 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 Excuse